Have you ever felt empty without having your smartphone around you? Or being mad at someone else for using their smartphone while you're talking to them? Being connected and involved in the digital world has become a way of life for many people. According to Nielsen Company research, the average American adult spends roughly 11 hours each day listening to, watching, reading or interacting with media. There are a variety of reasons why you might wish to give up your phone and other electronic devices for a short period of time. You might want to spend some time alone, away from your phone and other electronic devices. In other circumstances, you may believe that your device usage has grown extremely and is causing you too much worry. A digital detox is a period of time during which a person avoids using technology, such as smartphones, television, computers, tablets and social media. It's normal to think of detoxing from digital gadgets as a method to focus on real-life social interactions without being distracted. There are a variety of reasons why you might wish to give up your phone and other electronic devices for a short period of time. Technology can be stressful. While many people believe they cannot really live without their electronic devices, research and surveys have proven that technology can also cause stress. According to a Swedish study, heavy technology use among young adults was connected to sleeping issues, depressive symptoms, and increased stress levels. Digital devices can impact your sleep. Heavy gadget use, especially before night, has also been shown to interfere with sleep quality and quantity. According to one study, children who used digital devices before bedtime slept much worse and slept less. The study also discovered a link between late-night tech use and a mass index. Heavy smartphone use could be linked to mental health issues. Heavy daily technology use was linked to an increased risk of mental health problems among adolescents, according to a study published in the journal Child Development. Spending more time on digital devices was connected to higher signs of ADHD and conduct disorder, as well as poor self-control. Work-life balance is affected. The feeling of always being connected might make it tough to draw a line between your personal and professional lives. It's difficult to resist the urge to check your email, answer a colleague's text, or check in on your social media accounts even while you're at home or on vacation. Researchers discovered that technology use played a factor in defining an individual's work-life balance in a study published in the journal Applied Research in Quality of Life. Overall, job happiness, workplace stress, and emotions of overwork were all influenced by the use of internet and mobile technology, according to the study. Social comparison makes it difficult to be happy. If you use social media, you have probably found yourself comparing your life to that of your friends, family, complete strangers, and celebrities. Based on the small edited glances you get on their Instagram or Facebook postings, you might conclude that everyone else appears to be living a fuller, richer or more exciting life. Comparison, as the phrase goes, may be the thief of joy. Detoxing from social media can help you focus on what matters in your own life rather than comparing yourself to others. It causes feelings of missing out. FOMO is the fear of missing out on the experiences that everyone else is having. This worry can be worsened by constant connectivity. It's easy to feel as though your life is less interesting than someone else when you see a Polish photograph or post about their lives. You may find yourself overcommitting to social events in order to avoid being left out. Fear of missing out might also make you frequently check your phone because you fear missing an essential SMS, DM or social media post. Although it might be difficult, it will be a rewarding experience that will help you better understand your connection with your electronics as well as be more present and conscious in other activities and experiences. What do you think? Do you really believe that we are being attached to our smart devices more than ever?
Let us know about your experience on the comments down below. If you think this video helped you, please like and share with those who need it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.